Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video about the Bitcoin retest on the monthly level that we've been talking about a few days back. It's now finally here. Is that retest now complete? Are we going to see further upside going forward? Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future and let's dive right in right after our quick sponsor. Our sponsor for today's episode is Nervos Network. Nervos is a layer one blockchain protocol that scales through a wide variety of technologies like side chains and stake channels. Nervos has recently announced a mainnet beta launch of its multi-chain solution Godwoken, which is a major step towards interoperability. Godwoken is a layer two blockchain protocol that integrates Ethereum virtual machine capabilities and enables developers to employ Ethereum contracts while keeping transactions scalable, fast and low cost. With Godwoken and Nervos's cross-chain bridge called ForceBridge, Ethereum developers can use their existing code bases to begin porting their dApps to Nervos and become early adopters in the expanding DeFi ecosystem. The Godwoken whitelisting program is now open and accepting applications from decentralized application projects to build upon the ecosystem. Become an early adopter of the expanding DeFi space and join the Godwoken whitelisting program today. Awesome. So here's the tweet from earlier on today. I spoke about the possibility of a 58700 retest since that breakdown from the black uptrend line, which lasted for many, many weeks, actually. So this convincing breakdown was enough to see price picture perfect rebound from the monthly level. And that monthly level is something that we've been talking about for a while now. I mentioned it on YouTube here, but I also spoke about it on Twitter where this current, or at least last month's monthly candle was the candle that broke beyond this major resistance area. And this current candle should be the retest candle just to confirm this old resistance as a new support. And now with that fresh update, picture perfect rebound from that previous major resistance area. And this rebound is very promising. Really good to see that because this is needed to confirm this overall breakout. Breakouts occur in two phases. First, you have to see a weekly, monthly, daily candle close above a key resistance. In this case, it's a monthly candle close above a key resistance back here. And now we need to see a retest to follow suit just to fully confirm that breakout. And we're getting two strong signals of a full breakout confirmation. Really great to see that. And the thing to also mention here is that not only is Bitcoin finding support at that crucial level of 58K, and mind you, we could of course deviate beyond below this level, that would be fine as long as we monthly close above this level or even above this level. And the reason this level is important is this is the top of last month's candle, the top of the October monthly candle. And we're holding support here as well, even though we briefly dipped, performed that small downside deviation to tag this key monthly retest level, we're back above this level. And to be honest, any close, whether above here or here, would be a perfectly fine monthly close just to satisfy bullish conditions this sort of confirmation that we're seeing on the higher time frame is very positive. So a monthly candle close above either of these two levels is really good to watch out for. At the moment, so far, so good on a technical level, on an emotional level. Unfortunately, not good because many people are more volatile in their emotional reactions than the actual volatility that we're seeing in the price action. Because this is, if we measure it, a minus 15% pullback. And what we've seen just two months ago was a minus 25% pullback. Back in September, minus 25% pullback preceding new all time highs. And we're seeing a much shallower retrace right now compared to just two months ago. But the emotional volatility, the emotional sentiment that we're seeing on crypto Twitter is off the charts. You wouldn't be able to chart it on this chart right over here because it's just so extreme. 
And of course, we have seen a lot of greed in recent times here. Typically, that's where we tend to get greedy, in these FOMO wicks right over here. But the thing about what's changing, while in these extremities in the price action, that's always going to be a point of extreme emotional distress when we see price tumble like this. What we're seeing change is the market sentiment at these price regions where previous sellers are now turning into new buyers. So really important to, yes, understand that we're going to see a lot of distress or FOMO depending on how price is moving. FOMO when price was up and now distress when price is down. We're seeing slowly but surely price stability build right over here at this pivotal crucial area even if we see downside wicking it's still possible it's still early on in the month it's only mid-month we could still see price deviate however many times it wants to but ultimately as long as we get that monthly close above here that's all well and good at the moment technically speaking all is well and good emotionally speaking Really interesting to see such a drastic emotional reaction. Meanwhile, in September, we saw arguably a lesser emotional reaction from investors, possibly because price was at lower regions. It was nowhere close to all time highs. People tend to be extremely emotional near all time highs because they worry about a new emerging bear market occurring. But the thing about new bear markets is that bear markets take us by surprise. Historically speaking, nobody anticipates a bear market once it actually happens. So the fact that many people are talking about a new bear market right now is actually quite an optimistic sign. So in any case, this is a technical price development that's very much in line with what we like to see in confirmed breakouts. Let's just be patient. Let's see for these monthly levels to continue to be tagged or retested successfully as they have been thus far. Let's be a bit patient. Let's watch out for that monthly candle close. At the moment, all is well and good, technically speaking. And all is well and good, shaping up for a great Black Friday sale, because I'm excited to share with you that you can get $50 off not just one course, not just two courses, not just three courses, all of them. You can get $50 off on each of my courses, the technical analysis course, the risk management course, the altcoin investing course, that can all come up to $150 in savings if you get all of the courses on Black Friday or at least before Black Friday. That is the Black Friday sale. It is a great offer. I pack a lot of value into those courses, put a tremendous amount of effort there because I want to go the extra mile for you guys, for course students. I want to go the extra mile because the extra mile is never crowded. You don't meet many people at the extra mile. And that's where we really get to the cutting edge and really find out about some crucial insights that can make a massive difference to your investing overall. So in any case, check out the Black Friday sale in the links in the description down below. That's about it for today's video update. If you like this one, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. For more videos like this in the future, I'm Rex Capital. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.